Next in the tank is an experienced entrepreneur from Sydney. He's hoping to wow the sharks with his eco-friendly and innovative product. I'm feeling exceptionally nervous. This is our livelihood, this business. We've lived it and breathed it for the last three years. For the amount of money I'm asking for, I hope the sharks don't get scared off. Hi, my name is Kane. I'm the CEO of iCapsulate. 13 years ago, I made a clear and conscious decision to turn my life around and build a strong and successful company. I'm here today to ask you for two and a half million dollars for 15% of my company. <laughs> so that was 2.5? It is. Wow. <laughs> for okay. 15%. I'll go hard or go home. All right, get into it. OK. Acapsulate um, is a coffee company specialising in capsules, pods and roasted beans. We're the largest in the Southern Hemisphere. We produce currently 35 million capsules and pods per annum. Uh, we have contracts with Australia and New Zealand's largest coffee companies. Uh, I'm expanding the formats of iCapsulate next year, which will increase that another 20 million pieces. And I'm still to execute two contracts by the end of this year, which will also add another 20 million pieces to the business. The thing with iCapsulate is in June, we'll launch a world first biodegradable, hermetically sealed capsule. <laughs> The difference between this and other capsules is ours is biodegradable, so we can drop it straight in the garden. The other thing with our capsules is we, we produce the best. We're 35% higher coffee solids than any other manufacturer in Australia. We have the lowest oxygen residual, meaning the freshest coffee capsule as well. So what I would like to do is let you taste the difference between a craft and a good cup of coffee. I capsulate <laughs> yes. being a good one. OK, Kane, and that was $2.5 million for 15% of Which your Which value is it at? 16.6 million. Yes. How long ago did you start this business? Uh, one and a half years ago. Wow, well, what a great result that is. Wow. This is the first lot. What's this one? This is the one that you don't want to drink. Okay, just have good. a smell first. Good to know. Just so you know, um, as, a, as a point of difference. It smells revolting. Thank you. OK, so this is the bad one. This is evil coffee. Evil coffee. Yeah, it's bitter. Um, you'll notice the capsule's slightly different, and I'll bring some capsules around for you to have yeah, a look thank at. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you. So, the first thing you'll notice is the crema difference in the colour, and I should hope the flavour. Oh, thank you, Chief. Oh, yeah, you can see it. Yeah. It's massive. What was your past life? Because you've only been going 18 months. Yeah, so always coffee. My mum was a chef, so instead of working in the kitchen with her, um, I said uh, I'll, I'll stay out and do the bar and coffee. Through school and everything, I continued doing coffee, and I set up a coffee roasting company. Did that for a couple of years, and I was offered um, the technical position for Dow Egberts, so I ran all their technical division for them. And then Gloria Jeans poached me from there, and I ran Gloria Jeans worldwide for their coffee and technical. Wow. So I launched Cafe Italy for Gloria Jeans into Woolworths, um, and seeing the success of that, I decided to start my own company. What are you most proud of? This is um, my partners and my life. Like, we're, we've invested everything into it. We've lived and breathed the factory. We installed the machinery ourselves. There's $16 million worth of machinery currently on the floor. Well, coffee is our life. So your business is not just putting your own coffee in capsules, it's putting other people's coffee in Correct. capsules as well. So Correct. are you like the Tetra Pak of capsules? Yes. So our customers, we can say all of Australia's leading manufacturers or coffee companies. All the big coffee brands yeah. that we would know. Yep. So what are your sales? So 37 and a half million at the moment, pieces per annum. Talk to your revenues, please. So um, last year was four million. Four million dollars, that is very impressive. That's very nice. Okay. You've been going for 18 months yep. and you've got four million dollars in sales. Yes. Well done. Clearly, you've got everything you need to run a good business. What extra do you need from a shark type investor? I was offered $25 million for the business probably six months ago and I said no, because I, I believe there's a lot more in it. Marketed correctly, taken through the right fields and like to, to apply, put a different application to it, to fit coffee into it, uh, I think that's exactly what a shark would offer. Kane, you are um, very brave. 
Um, also, if you've got courage and courage to actually be all in. Yeah. So I admire your passion, your courage and your bravery. <laughs> Unfortunately, I own a coffee business and we sell coffee. I have a conflict of interest. I'm out. OK. Thank you. Well, I like the space. I think you're amazing. I'll make you an offer. I don't like the valuation. I think there's a risk involved. So I'm going to offer you $2.5 million for 25% of your company. and I'm going to work on making the other 75% very valuable. OK. So, Kane, I have to be uh, up front with you. Yeah. Um, I cannot see even where Andrew's sitting. And, and, and my offer, seriously, is $2.5 million for 40% based on the work and the numbers you've told me about. OK. I will give you the mentoring and the coaching support you need to go exponential with this business. Thank you. I'm buying your growth rate. You've started from nothing and in 18 months you got to a phenomenal space. But I will counter that little conversation there by saying I am the scale-up guy. I, I am so experienced in taking companies from small to large. So, you know, but he's a tea of, he's a tea of being an Australian-based yeah. mentor, which is what you need, I'd be there for you. So, so if you want to take a business that solves pig's ears and have itself look more pig's ears, mate, Glenn's your bloke, right? What? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm exceptionally curious, and these are these inferior coffee pods you're selling against. What is it, their cost of manufacture? The cost of manufacturing is slightly higher, not a licensed system, and not protected by patents. So the inferior one, which does things in an inferior way, yep. is more expensive. Yeah, and the, the that doesn't is, make any sense, right? I'll, I'll explain. We have the ability to roast the coffee in house. So, one, you save the GST because they can buy the green coffee off us. There's no GST on the product and sold. But it's also the road cost of getting the coffee there and getting it back to DC where we can keep it all in house. I, I don't believe you. Because <laughs> someone has the inferior product pods yeah. thing and does exactly everything the way you do it now. Okay, but with so the, clearly anyway, you don't please believe no, it. Please, no. Please. I'm speaking. Are you in or out? I'm speaking. Are you in or out? Are you in or out? For Christ's sakes, it's my money. We're here to talk to the bloke. Yeah, well, we haven't so got going somewhere else. We're talking about Glenn and Andrew. I haven't are you got going all somewhere day. else? Exactly. I know. Do you, do you need to go somewhere? <laughs> right. <laughs> you, you've actually identified this as a $2 million investment, right? So, and on, two and a half? I've made it two and a half. So th th these do require appropriate questioning. So if you're trying to rush the process, why are you trying to rush the process? And we're talking about a $16.6 million valuation. For God's sake, it's money, people, and this is business. So I'm on, the, I'm on the fence, I'm going to continue to think. But it's two and a half million bucks, I'm going to take as much bloody time as I want, excuse me. OK, Naomi, let's go. I was going to come in with a different offer than you've already got from Glenn and from Andrew, yeah. because I do know that you do need the marketing and I value my marketing skills. Yeah. So the offer that I'm going to put you is $2.5 million for 33 and a third percent of your business. Um, I'm having trouble making the numbers. Okay. I, am. I think well, you've, 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 we've all said it, you've done fantastically, right? I've got so much admiration. You've got a, just a, an absolute pair between your legs to go out there and put 16 point something million bucks of gear in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a factory to, to start roasting, to attack the market, to take the market share you have is, is, is really fantastic. Uh. So I'm trying to understand how we can take this from the, the, the size it is now. I have a real, real trouble with that. OK. So on that, you've got three offers there. I actually think they're terrible offers and you should ditch them all. But there, there's three offers on the table. I wish you all the best, mate, but I'm out. Thank you, Steve. All of that and he's out. Is there someone you want to talk to? Uh, oh, fiance. Yeah. Thank you. Go have See a chat. A little bit nervous as shit. <laughs> I can see. Uh, yeah. It's difficult. Like it's it's. They're all they all have really really good attributes and like I'm sort of stuck between um, them. Can you get the percentage lower? <laughs> uh, um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go smash it. Hello. 
Hi. So this is Alessia, um, my better half and, and the boss of the boss. Alessia, beautiful name. Thank you. Well, you must be very proud of him, huh? Building a business like that so quickly. Well, being a better half, I know I could do better. <laughs> you, mean, you mean you? You mean you work just as hard as he did? Oh, Probably harder. Trying to do my best. Yeah. Fantastic. Kane. You've had three offers, and that's the biggest amount of money ever been offered in Shark Tank. Two and a half million bucks. Okay. That's a first. It's a first. <laughs> so where do you land? Um, Naomi came with, with basically the ability to market with us and also being local. Glenn with the ability to upscale. Um, and yourself, Andrew, you have the ability for the US. And, and it was really difficult. Um, where we've come to, one um, I, I had to still see was we're, we're sitting with Andrew. Um, I spoke to Alessia and it was to see if you could do 20% for the 2.5. So they're out and I'm in yeah. and you want me to come back at 20%. Is, yeah. that, the, is that the bottom line? Yes. Two and a half million dollars. Yes, it is. I'm buying a big growth story. How about 22 and a half? Yeah. Go. Yes. 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 Let's go. <laughs> Let's take it to the world. Well done. Thank mate. you. Oh, nice to meet you. Good job, Kane. Well done. Thank you. Great pitch. Hello. Lovely to meet you. Thank you, guys. What an awesome deal. I know. <laughs> Great. Well, I'm going to have the best coffee in town. You are. You know, at the end of the day, what's, what's important is what the business is worth in two or three years. Oh, my God. That's the biggest deal in Shark Tank history. I know. It's, it's crazy. And I, I think by the time it died, Jess, and we're in the car and we're heading home, I think it's just going to all sort of hit you at once. I think she's going to have to drive. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to celebrate I after don't. making history? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe an espresso martini, a few of them. Yeah, very much so. Congratulations, Thank guys. Thank you very much. Yeah. See ya. That's awesome. That is the record deal in Shark Tank history. And it's a risk, but, you know, I just love his competence and I love his growth rate, and that's the blue sky I'm buying, and I think he can do it.